so one of the really exciting developments we're working on at the moment is uh, what we call synthetic data. So that's the idea that you'll create DR looking images, that is clinical x-ray images, um, completely synthetically, completely artificially, uh, without actually ever scanning a patient or exposing anything to x-rays. And one of the ways we can do that is using 3D data like MRI scans, CBCT scans, and uh, creating synthetic projections out of those. We've been working on this quite a lot, and we have right now the ability to create synthetic two-dimensional x-rays, which look almost indistinguishable from real x-rays, uh, even down to things such as Poisson noise and, and, and really detailed image characteristics. Um, we can create high-resolution images, and we can create them at really large volume. So that's interesting because if you work on AI, if you work in deep learning specifically, you typically want to use very large data sets to train your algorithms. And with synthetic data, we can create as much, as large a volume of data as we need for a given application. And we can also introduce variants into that data set. We can reduce variants, we can remove biases. So there are enormous technical benefits for using synthetic data. And there are also a lot of really good business cases for using synthetic data. So ultimately it saves, uh, it saves time and it saves money. Uh, it saves money because you can generate data synthetically on a computer, on a PC. It might take one evening and you might have 10,000 images. If you try to create that data clinically or, or put the agreements in place with the hospital to generate that data clinically, um, it's gonna, first of all, cost a lot of money and secondly, take a lot of time. And you might be waiting many months to even get your hands on that data. Whereas with synthetic data, you can start working day one. So another way in which synthetic data is really useful is in the R&D stage of product development, um, particularly with AI being a, what we might call a new technology, or certainly an emerging technology in terms of uh, clinical practice. Uh, you may have ideas that you want to try with AI, uh, and you may, you know, you may not go ahead with those ideas because it takes too long to acquire the data that you would need. With synthetic data, you can try out concepts, you can tune algorithms uh, very quickly because you have your hands on the data uh, immediately. Additionally, synthetic data can be used with any imaging system. When you obtain clinical data, you obtain it on the machine that was bought by the hospital for the particular purpose that it's being used for. With synthetic data, you can use any imaging system you like. So you can name the imaging system and you can set the SID, set the OID, you can change detectors, you can change sources, and this all happens just within the simulation environment. So in summary, the benefits of synthetic data are enormous, but I think it boils down to three uh, major considerations for a company. Cost savings, time savings, and efficiency, and that development cycle and how quickly we can go from concept to a fully commercialized algorithm. And all of that can be improved using synthetic data.